Whitetail Freaks is presented by Realtree Extra Green. The best just got better. Well, this past summer, we had an excellent um, velvet season. We've got a lot of great big bucks on our Browning Trail pictures. You know, they were either eating in the mineral bags or just in general, we had a lot of big bucks to chase. Looking at the amount of big bucks on the Brownings would help explain the amount of shooters encountered over the season. But with so many on the list, there were those few that stood above the rest. There was two 180s that we were definitely had our sights set on. One that stuck out in my mind is a buck we call Flamethrower because off the base, off his brow tines, he had just these gnarly points and just looked like flames. Although Don and Candy both had their favorites, Flamethrower would be at the top of the list for Candy. And for good reason. Not only did this buck blow 40 inches in one year, but in late October 2015, Candy would begin to encounter this big guy on the hoof. He would go out to their left and Don and I would be like, oh shoot, you don't have a shot? And I'm like, no, I didn't have a shot. He wouldn't come in or the angle wouldn't have been right. Whether he was quartering towards or, you know, I just didn't want to take an unethical shot. We, you know, we had a lot of season left. We knew that we were going to get a shot at this buck at some point. I mean, this buck was like going back and forth, leaving, he would come out. He would leave, he would come back in all in one night. So when you're seeing a 180 inch, at least 180 inch, you know, buck it, coming in and out, and this is the buck that you're chasing, you're, your heart gets all racing, you're tied up in knots. <laughs> 